Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my channel, Learn Math with Sayyid Ali. So continuing our topic of odds in favor and odds against, we have an example, right? So odds in favor, comparing the or the ratio of favorable outcomes to the unfavorable outcome. And odds against means unfavorable outcomes, ratio, favorable outcomes, right? So this is the way how to get the odds in favor and odds against. So here is an example of it and find the odds in favor of the Toronto Tigers winning. So here is a table of the prediction that there are two teams, T4 teams, teams are Tiger and Rangers. Now there are three probabilities, winning, losing and tie. So here is 45% probability or prediction that 45% is the winning chances of Tiger, right? And Rangers is 36% winning chances. Losing 18% of the Tiger, 24% of the Rangers. Tie 37% for the Tiger and 40% for the Rangers. So this is the prediction between the two teams. Names are Tiger and Rangers. Now, we have to answer the questions probability of favorable outcome when this is in given this table or prediction is given in percent it's very easy to determine the probability or odds in favor odds against because percent means out of 100 so we don't have to see anything just the number here because this number indicates that out of 100 45 is the chances so 45 is to 100 is the uh, is the odds in favor, right? So he's saying, question is saying, probability of favorable outcome or what? Toronto Tigers winning. So Toronto Tiger winning, Tigers winning, winning is 45%. So what is the probability? Out of 100, out of total, probability is always from the total. So if 100 match, matches are played, their probability is 45 divided by 100 this is the ratio right or 45 percent which is given actually but we have to understand that when we are talking about a probability we are taking total number of outcomes and when it is in percent percent means total number of outcomes are 100 out of which 45 is the favorable outcomes that toronto tigers is winning Hope you understand this, right? I will repeat for the second part, probability of unfavorable outcome. So if the total outcome is 100, 45 is for the winning. So how much for the um, losing? Unfavorable, right? Unfavorable will be 55. 100 minus 45 is 55. So 55%, right? So this is equals to 55. I will write percent, right? So now, this is the other thing that odds in favor that Toronto Tigers is winning. Odds in favor means number of the outcomes in favor divided by number of the outcomes against, right? Unfavorable. So what we have? We have 45 in favor. 45 is favorable and 55 is unfavorable for Toronto Tigers. Tiger is the first column, right? 45%. So that means, <coughs> what are the favor? Favorable is 45, right? Unfavorable is 55. <coughs> so we can cut it into simplest form because we have to show it into the simplest form. So 5, 9 is the 45, 5, 11 is the 55. So 9 is to 11 is the odds in favor. 9 is to 11 is odds in favor. If I say the same question odds against, you will be saying opposite, 55 over 45 for the Toronto Tigers to winning, right? So now the second question is, what are the odds against the Rangers losing? Which, which reading will you take here? That is important that you select the correct reading and then it is easy. He's talking about Rangers losing. Rangers losing is this figure, 
24% is Rangers losing figure. And he's saying, what are the odds against Rangers losing? Against. So favorable is 24. So 100 minus 24 will be equals to 76, right? 76 will be. So now what we have to say against, right? So unfavorable to the favorable. Ratio of unfavorable to favorable. Right? This is what we learned in the last video, right? Last lecture. So ratio of favorable to un unfavorable to favorable. So now we have to see what we are talking about. So this is 24% is losing. 24% so is like favorable, but unfavorable is 76. Unfavorable is 76. So 76 is to 24. This is the ratio of unfavorable to the favorable. For what? Rangers losing. Rangers losing favorable is 24. What is unfavorable here? 100 minus 24, 76. So 76 is to 24. If we want to cut it into the simplify, simplified form, so to put it into a simplified ratio, we have to divide it, right? 2, 3 is a 6, 2, 8 is a 16, 2, 1 is a 2, 2, 2 is a 4, right? One more time maybe. So 2, 19 is a 30 and 38 and 2, 6 is a 12. So what we have here now? We have 19 over 6 or simplified ratio will be 19 is to 6. So I will repeat one more time because this is a tricky one. What he is saying, what are the odds against the Rangers losing? What is the odds in favor of Rangers losing is 24%. This is given in our data or prediction. 24% is in favor that they will lose. So how much uh, unfavorable? 100 minus 24. So this step which I put it here is very important that you need to understand that what is unfavorable outcome of this situation. So favorable outcome is 24. Unfavorable outcome will be 100 minus 24 which is 76. So we say Odds against is the definition. By definition, we know unfavorable outcomes to the favorable outcomes. So 76 is to 24. And then we put into the ratio or division form. And then we simplify it to get the simplified result or simplified ratio, which is 19 is to 6. So hope you understand uh, this thoroughly. Uh, you, can, uh, you can practice it or you can have more questions uh, in your exercise book. Uh, to do the same practice again over again hope you like the video if you like it subscribe to my channel press the bell icon button to receive another video thumbs up thank you for watching